Good morning, children. Welcome back to online classes. How did you write your exam? I'm sure you did very well. Okay, then let's start our new lesson. Run, bull, bull, run. It's a very enchanting story. Man has domesticated many animals like dogs, then we got a goat, sheep, etc., and cows, cattle, and horse. Out of all these animals that he has domesticated, dogs and horses are very intelligent. They are very close to human beings and they understand the moods of human beings. Horse is a very intelligent animal. Horse is very intelligent animal. It can as well identify the moods of its master. This is the story primarily about a, an intelligent horse. A name is Bulbul. Bulbul is the name of the horse. What is the title of the lesson? Run Bulbul, run. That means somebody is urging the horse to run fast on some purpose. Let's find the purpose. And before I go any further, I would like to introduce this gentleman, the writer. His name is Sage Srivastava. Very wonderful writer, and I am sure this is a story in chapter you. You will like it. So, this is the story of a house. Before I start any further, I shall give you the synopsis of this lesson. Synopsis means outlines of this lesson. The story starts with a hatred, means somebody hates the house. How? This bumble is a very beautiful animal, very tall animal, white in color, spotless majestic looking and she is very very cool the owner of the horse his name was um, whatever the name it is the owner of the horse was an elderly man a squad face some people have faces like always they keep their face um, unpleasant look at this gentleman there is no worry to no, no need for him See, he is not happy with he is a scorn face. Okay, so the man was having a scorn face, he was a very hard man, he speaks very rough, rough, boorish. Such a man was trying to get on the horse. Where did they sit? This, suppose if it is a horse, this is a seat. The seat of the horse is on the saddle. Seat of the horse, let us take the seat a little back. Seat of the horse is called a saddle. They sit on the saddle and put their feet here. Have you seen it any time? They put their feet like this. Okay? They sit like this on the saddle. And keep their legs here in the, the place where they should be. Okay, right. So when he tried to sit on the saddle, the house of the horse owner, he did not like him, the way he did. So he should rise on his hind legs. Hind legs means horse have got four legs. These are the four legs. They are four hari, four mundu legs. They got hind legs, hind legs is the hind legs. So it stood on its hind legs, which is nine. Mm. Like that. Then it stood on its hind legs. So what happens if it stands on the hind legs? The man who was trying to sit on the saddle falls down. He fell down. Okay? And he has one son. His name was Ramzan. Ramzan was a very good, a good boy of your age, about 13, 14 years old. And he was actually in fact, he was very close to that, he was very close to the animal. He was very, very close to the animal. And they were very friendly. So it seems obviously the horse liked him so much and listens to him, obeys him, and they had a very good loving connection between them. Okay? So when his father fell down right in front of him, 
this boy ran to the ran to his father. Baba, Baba, father, father. Then went. The man who fell down, he got up from the ground. He dusted his feet. The heart should be sold to the first buyer. Whoever comes to buy it, I shall sell. It. It has no respect for his master. If it uh, makes me fall, his own master, how can I send this for the tourist, uh, uh, for the tourist spot? It will fall, it will make everyone, it throws everyone from his seat. Then we get back in. So, comes on, next day morning, to the first buyer, I sent the horse. Comes on, say, no, Baba, it's very good. It is said to me, it never thrown me out. Baba said, then why did you throw me? Then father was very angry and he said, okay, for today I am allowing you to stay in the home. You please take it to the tourist center and see if we can get one or two rides. Means if you allow the tourists to ride on it for some time, they pay some money, right? So, and tomorrow morning I shall send to the first pilot. He said, okay, very good. This is the story. I just brought you to the mood. Now, Please open your text book, sir. Page number. <coughs> Page number 81. Page number 81. Such that you can read sentence by sentence and explain it. Ramjan. Ramjan Goro. What's name? Ramjan. Ramjan Goro. This is the name of the boy. Ramjan Goro watched his horse, watched his horse snort defiantly. What is the meaning of defiantly? The manner that shows you refuse to obey. Ramjan Goro watched his horse snort. Snort means Snort means, as I told you, it's nice. A dog barks. Dog barks. A cat, a cow, more. But horse, nice. It died, it nice. So, Ramzan Guru watches horse snort. Snort means nice. And definitely. What's the meaning of you? Definitely, when mother tells you, okay, better you just go and uh, switch off the switch, I mean, put the stuff off, then you are watching a wonderful series. <coughs> no, you stop your foot and say, <coughs> How an animal can say, it only say, <coughs> okay, it's nice, definitely means refuse, I don't want. It expresses its feelings in the form of a name, definitely. Then the horse reigns so quickly. This man is not fully sit. He is not holding the reins. Reins is this is the thing that the people hold. He did not hold the reins also. Then it it reigns so quickly. It reigns so quickly. Reigns means I told you how the reign is. See, it stands on its hind legs. Okay, I have not seen the, in the movies that the horse race. Okay, it race. If it race, what happens to the man who is sitting on his horse? He falls. Okay. It then the horse race so quickly that Ramjan's father lost his balance and was thrown to the ground. He is a big fan. He fell down on the ground. Then looking at Ramzan, cried, Father! Father! He ran to the, he crossed the yard towards the house and reached the tall man. His father was a tall man. Tall man who had jumped to his feet again. He fell down, flat on his back. Then he jumped. He got very quickly. He was very, very angry. Won't be angry when he was thrown away from the seat. He was very angry. <coughs> this horse has to go. This horse has to go. Yes, yes, 
his heart has, has to go. What good is it to us? What good it is to us? What is the use of this heart? If it throws his own master, it is throwing away his own master. Then what is the good of this heart? It must go. Yes. Yes. He should not must go. He, but Ramjan, Ramjan said, Ramjan loves the hearts. This boy said, Baba, it never throws me. It never throws me, Baba. He said, Ramjan said, you feeling guilty because his hearts, his loving hearts, from his own father. So he's feeling guilty. Baba, it never throws me. He said, guilty. He never throws you. Father said, he never throws you. His face was red with rage. He didn't say angry. I said he threw me, you saw me, and you said he never throws me, Baba. So the old man was very angry. And but he has thrown me thrice. And soon he will start throwing all the tourists. And what will that do to our business? May I ask you? It threw me thrice. And it will throw the tourists also. Then what business will we have? What will happen to our business? It gets duking. You see? Down. Then. No, Ramjan. No. The moment I get a buyer, whoever wants to buy it, I am going to sell Bulma. Now, take him to the international camp and see that, and see that if we, and see that you get a few good trips. Maybe you get, you get a few good trips. They pay, they may pay us. So, we need some money. He needs some money. Okay? Please take this stupid uh, horse. This boy said, Yes, father. And said, Ramjan, defeated. Defeated means holy court. Last. Because father has given his judgment. Tomorrow I am going to sell it. It's of no use to us. It's a throw of his own master. It's a bad horse. Okay? So this boy is defeated. He tried to say, say the horse, Baba, he never throws me. But father is very angry, he doesn't listen to me. So, yes, father, Ramjan, Ramjan said, defeat me. Avoiding the father's eyes, he took the horse. He did not look to his father's eyes because they are very angry, right? So, he simply took the reins. What's the reins? Reins means these are called reins. What do you call it? Kalyan, 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 okay? So that is your uh, handlebar actually, okay? You ride like this. I have not seen the movies. Very nice. So, right and left. As he walked through the village, through the village he talked to him while he was walking, taking the thing. He was walking by the side of the group and taking the reins and just taking. He spoke to them, then he talked to him. As if he is taught his own friend. Listen, Raja Bulbul. His pet name. Listen, Raja Bulbul. I know you hear me. Yes, I know you hear me. You are my horse. Okay? You are my horse. Nobody loves you more than I do. Nobody loves you more than I do. I do, I, I do like you more. But if you want to stay with me, you have to behave yourself. I love you and you know it. You are my heart. If you want to stay with me, one condition, you still have to behave yourself. You still have to behave properly. Behave yourself. You must, you must not throw anybody, especially my father. You must not throw anybody, Baba, especially my father. You promise me? You promise that? Okay? Bulbu? He was speaking to the heart as if it is his own friend. The horse looked at a 12 year old boy with his large liquid shining eyes. Large, only the largest eye horses have. Horses' eye is the largest, not even the male eyes also. Okay? So, the, it looked at him when he was speaking to him, You are a good boy, you are my horse. Huh? If you want to stay with me, you should have to behave. So, it looked at him. It's just like 
tilted his uh, head and just looked at him with his watery, big, large, liquid eyes. Our size is shines. Okay? Liquid eyes. And he nailed and rubbed his soft nose against Mr. Ramjan's shoulder. He said, How can you say, Yes, sir? We will say, No. It is, you should have to behave. Okay? And then he said, It is only nine. And it rubbed its nose on the shoulder of this boy. Say that it is an agreement. Yes, okay. Alright, I'll behave. That's the idea. That will, us has shown his acceptance. The, okay, Ramzan had done Bulbul's beautiful shaped head. But, uh, look at the horse, it's a very majestic. Then it, it said, Okay, that it will behave well. So Ramzan was very happy and his back down his beautiful head. And stove is a soft white coat. His coat is very coat, means it doesn't wear the three piece coat. The skin, the hide of an animal is called coat. Hide of means the skin of the animal is called coat. He has got beautiful white marked coat. So he stroked it. Okay? Have you ever stroked this uh, cow under its uh, neck? If you do this way, it will become friendly. So if you stroke out the head of a puppy, it will behave sweetly. So he stroked the beautiful skin of hide a coat of Ramzan and the horse. Come on, come on, he said, let's go and earn some money. He said, come on, let's go and earn some money. Let's go to the tourist park. Ramzan mounted on the horse and galloped down the road. Ramzan mounted means climbed on the horse, but it never flew him. The galop means this is walking. Then the horse goes like this, this is called trotting. Galop means they go like this. The pair of legs, one pair. I have not seen galloping the horse. Okay, so they galloped to the large campsite, the tourist campsite. And he didn't have to wait long before Bulbul was chosen by a tourist. He did not wait for long. He just stood in the stand, horse stand. For well, hiring, so he did not have to wait for some time. Why? It's a beautiful horse and it looks very tame. So, immediately, one tourist has come and he paid money and climbed on the horse. Ramzan took the reins and slowly made the horse to run. He helped the customer into the saddle, he helped the customer to climb into the saddle. Saddle means the seat and given him the reins. Then he guided the horse down the slope into the main road. From the high slopes, I have not seen this Manjagata uh, in Bangalore. On the slopes, uh, they camp. From slopes, slopes means high. Like, so he guided the horse slowly to the main road. Okay, then while Ramzan encouraged, bull bull with the soft clicking sounds and he trotted behind and he kept thinking about what he could do uh, to change his past. Then when they reached the road, flat land, he said, they, these uh, shepherds and these people have got a, a tricky sound. What do they say to a horse to them? He, he made some clicking sound. So, and he started slowly running. Horse also started running behind him like a pet dog. Okay? Then while running, this boy was thinking, what to say, how to convince father not to sell it. I love this horse. Father is very angry with the horse. So he was thinking, okay. On reaching Aru village, there is a village named Aru. By, the, by reaching Aru village, he tucked the money, the tool shall give us the money, he tucked it into his in the inner pocket of the shirt. And then, and made the way to a roadside tea shop. A roadside there are tea shops, okay, Badabas. So he went there and leaving Bobble to Grace. He left to Bobble, okay, Grace. There is a grass, so Bobble can graze. So he was taking a cup of tea. Okay. And a couple of dry buns to eat. Ramzan eyes swept over the valley, snow covered mountains. He did not like the color of the sky. 
it looked grey longness. When he was drinking tea, when he was sipping the tea, tea he just looked up. Usually you look up this uh, uh, tall mountains, you know, snow capped mountains and deep green valleys and he loves the scenery. But when he looked up, when sipping the tea, he looked up and what he saw he did not like it. The sky is not blue, it is becoming grey. When do you think that the sky becomes grey? When it is going to rain or when the storm is going to come, then we can see the, uh, the dark clouds cover the sky and the sky looks uh, dark, grey color. Okay? The sky was, uh, he did not like the color of the sky. It looked grey and ominous. Ominous means something bad is going to come. Okay? It looked <coughs> grey and ominous. And the air was uh, dangerously still. The air is dangerously still. Whenever the air stops and the sky is grey, what does it mean? It does mean that within a few minutes it's going to rain. Rain heavily. Okay? So, <clears throat> so you could smell the storm brewing. You could smell the storm. How could you smell the storm? You can smell the uh, Maggie, you can smell this uh, biryani, but how can you smell the Storm. When the storm is brewing, you say as it is cooking. Slowly, many things will do. Birds stop flying, they go to their mess, and breeze stops still late. And also, we can smell this mud, mud smell. When it's raining somewhere nearby, you can smell the mud, mud smell. So he could smell that a storm, storm is brewing and what he should do? Immediately he should go home, he should return home. That is the end of your section 1 and I am sure that you enjoyed it. Then what happens that we shall find in the next section. So long, take care, stay home, stay safe.